If you're running a WooCommerce store and you want to start accepting PayPal payments, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up PayPal payments in WooCommerce from start to finish. By the end of this video, you'll have PayPal fully integrated into your WooCommerce store. Your customers will be able to pay with PayPal, credit cards, and even by now, pay later options. What we'll cover today is installing the official PayPal payments plugin, connecting your PayPal business account, setting up both PayPal checkout and credit card processing, and then testing everything to make sure it's working perfectly. Let's jump right into it. All right, so before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you need. First, you obviously need WordPress installed with the WooCommerce plugin active. If you don't have WooCommerce set up yet, I've got other tutorials on that. You can check those out first. Make sure your WooCommerce store is already configured with at least one product so we can test the payment process later. One more thing, while PayPal handles the payment processing on their secure servers, I still recommend having an SSL certificate on your site. Most hosting providers include this for free nowadays, so you should be good to go. You can tell if you have SSL by checking if your site URL starts with HTTPS instead of just HTTP. Now let's get into the actual setup. The first thing we need to do is install the official PayPal payments plugin. So I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to click on plugins in the left sidebar, then add new. This plugin is completely free and gives you access to all the PayPal payment features you need. Here in the search bar, I'm going to type PayPal payments and hit enter. Now, you want to make sure you get the official one. It should say buy WooCommerce underneath it. There we go, I can see it right here. I'm going to click install now, perfect. Now once it's installed, I need to click activate to actually turn it on. There we go, the plugin is now active on my site. You should see Woo Payments and right above it, WooCommerce PayPal Payments. Now that we have the plugin installed, let's configure it. I'm gonna to go to WooCommerce in my left sidebar, then click on settings. This is where we'll configure all the payment options for our store. Once I'm in the WooCommerce settings, I need to click on the payments tab at the top. This tab shows all the available payment methods for your store, including any that came pre-installed with WooCommerce. I'm gonna drag PayPal to the top here to make it the first option. The order here determines what customers see first during checkout. So putting PayPal at the top can help increase conversions. All right, now let's set up the actual PayPal connection. I'm going to click on complete setup next to PayPal, then activate PayPal payments to start connecting it. Here you should choose your account type. I'm going to choose my personal account, though I do recommend having a PayPal business account and connecting it. If you don't have a business account yet, don't worry. You can upgrade your existing account or create a new one. I'll put a link in the description to help you set that up. The business account gives you access to all the advanced features we'll be using today. Now continue, here you need to choose the type of goods you sell on your WooCommerce store, as this will affect some options in the app. I'll choose virtual goods, then click continue. Now here I can see there's a connect to PayPal button. Let me click on that. This is going to establish a secure connection between your WooCommerce store and your PayPal business account. This is going to take me to PayPal's website where I need to log in. I'm going to enter my email address and password. Once I'm logged in, PayPal will ask me to agree to connect my account to WooCommerce. Perfect. Now I can see that my API credentials have been connected automatically. This is so much easier than the old days when you had to manually copy and paste API keys. The connection is now secure and ready to process payments. Back in my WooCommerce settings, I can see that PayPal is now connected. You should see a green check mark or success message confirming that PayPal is now active on your store. Now here's something cool. PayPal also lets you process credit cards directly on your site without customers having to leave and go to PayPal. I'm gonna click on manage next to PayPal, then payment methods. And from there, check the credit and debit card payments option to enable it, then hit save. Now let's go back to make sure it's added. Now when I go back to my payments page, I can see both options are enabled. This gives my customers maximum flexibility. They can pay with PayPal or they can just enter their credit card directly. Having multiple payment options can significantly increase your checkout completion rates. This feature keeps customers on your site throughout the entire checkout process, which typically leads to higher conversion rates. So here's the difference. 
PayPal checkout shows those PayPal, Venmo, and Pay Later buttons, while PayPal card processing lets customers enter their credit card info directly on your checkout page. You can use both at the same time, which is what I recommend. This gives your customers the maximum number of payment options to choose from. All right, now comes the fun part, testing everything to make sure it works. I have a product page from my store opened in another tab, as if I am a person looking to purchase it. So I can test this like a real customer would. You can see right away there's a button for paying with PayPal. Let me add a product to my cart and go to checkout. Perfect. I can see both payment options here. I've got the PayPal button and I've also got a credit cards option that's powered by PayPal. This is exactly what your customers will see when they're ready to make a purchase. Let me test the PayPal option first. I'll click on the PayPal button and it takes me to PayPal secure checkout page. Now, if I complete the payment, the transaction will go through successfully. You can also test the credit card option to make sure both payment methods are working properly. Now, another option I wanna show you is pay later, which lets customers split their payments. Many customers love having the flexibility to pay in installments, which can help increase your average order value. To enable it, I'll click on manage next to PayPal, go to payment methods and enable pay later, finally click save. For those of you who want to get really technical, you can also access advanced settings by going to developer.paypal.com. There you can configure things like reference transactions for vaulting, but honestly, most store owners won't need to mess with this stuff. The default settings work perfectly for the vast majority of online stores. Now, in case transactions are failing, the first thing to check is whether your PayPal account is verified and in good standing. Sometimes PayPal will put restrictions on new business accounts until you verify some additional information. If you're still having issues, don't hesitate to contact PayPal support. They're usually very helpful with resolving integration problems. All right, your customers can now pay with PayPal, Venmo, pay later options, or just enter their credit card directly, all processed securely through PayPal system. This should definitely help increase your conversion rates and give your customers the payment options they expect. You've now got one of the most trusted payment processors in the world integrated into your WooCommerce store. If this tutorial helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more WooCommerce and WordPress tutorials. I'm always creating new content to help you build and grow your online store. Drop a comment below if you have any questions about setting up PayPal payments and I'll do my best to help you out. I love hearing from you guys and seeing how your stores are doing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.